Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to plot two GG plots side by side in R. So in the video I'm going to use the following example data that we can create with lines 1 to 4 of this code. So if you run this code you will see that two data sets appear here at the top right. Um, and now, in order to plot these data, we need to install and load the ggplot2 package. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load the package. And um, in the following lines, in lines 9 to 12, you can see that we are creating two ggplots in R. So um, the first ggplot is created in lines 9 to 10 and the second GG plot is created in lines 11 and 12. So of course we can also have a look at the two plots. So if we run this code, you can see our first GG plot is a simple density plot and the second GG plot is a scatter plot. So now let's assume that we want to plot these two graphics side by side in one window. Um, for that task, we need to install and load the grid extra package Again, I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 15. And uh, then the package includes the function grid arrange. And uh, within this function, you can specify basically as many GG plots as you want. And then you can also specify how you want to plot them side by side. So either you can specify the number of columns, as we are doing here with the end call argument or you could also use the n row argument to specify the number of rows. So now let's run this line of code in order to see the output. Yeah, and as you can see now our two plots that we have created previously are, are now shown in the same plot window. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Um, however, if you want to learn more about plotting two GG plots side by side, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the plotting of GG plots side by side. Um, I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video so you could check it out there. And if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about our tutorials that I'm releasing in future. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.